PeachTools.com. G'day, guys, Pete from Peach Tools. How are we all going today? Now, the beautiful day here in Paradise. Hey, if you've been following any of my videos, I've been doing some art gouging with these carbon rod things. But I haven't got a proper torch and I'm too miserable to buy one. I mean, the cheapest here is about 150 bucks, and I'm not going to pay 150 bucks just to start playing with this shit. So what I thought I'd do, guys, is see if I can make my own torch. All it is is an electrode holder like this with your carbon rod like that, and it has some air coming out of one side of it. So Pete should be able to do that. We'll give that a crack, Nigel. Anyway, guys, same as usual. If you like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day in the comments below if you want, and let's get on with this, yeah! So like I say guys, what I've been doing is just using the normal electrode holder like this, sticking my carbon rod in it, and uh, yeah, just trying to gark out some shit here. As you can see here, woo! But it really needs the air, so I just grab the air gun and point it towards it. As you can see guys, it does work. See, it's starting to knock the weld out here a little bit. But you need about 30 hands to do it. So I thought I'd, whoa, watch it Pete. <laughs> so I thought I'd see if I could make a bit of an ear thing on here so I don't have to hold it in the sand. What I thought I'd do guys, is try and do it the easiest way possible. You know me, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So I got a lump of pipe here off the back of an old fridge that I found at the dump. And uh, it's quite thin and it's just got a nice little hole in there. So I thought maybe if I can bend that around the same shape is my electrode there and and bend it back down here past the torch and even if I just taped it on there or something and then hook the other end up here cut it off there somewhere and maybe weld an airline socket on it or something something like uh, what do we got Pete? something like this an airline fitting if we could get that somehow on there and then bend it around even if we just taped it on the torch and then plugged it in and we should be all good to go. <laughs> Let's try that. It sounds simple, but I'll probably cock it up. So what I thought I'd do, guys, like I say, is just measure this. Well, we need, I reckon we need it about there. I might go on the inside, it'll be a little bit easier. Um, just bend it a little bit here on a right angle. And this is quite thin pipe, guys, so we just have to bend it quite quietly, you know what I mean? So we don't freaking gark it and the air won't go through it. So if we go like that, down a bit closer to the maybe down a bit closer to the business end of it down here towards the electrode we go like that so if we could tuck them under there actually straighten it up a little bit Pete straighten it up a tad and put a harder right angle bend on it I mean if you've got to spare 150 bucks go and buy a torch but I'm too miserable and I might not even like it that much. So I'll have a play with what I'd make first and then we'll decide whether I want to spend some money on a, on a proper torch. Down like so. Just a bit of pissing around with this guys, just to get the right levels. Yeah, that's about the right length there, guys. And I can always pull my carbon rod down a little bit once we start burning down, rather than mucking about with this. So that's good. Yeah. So if we follow them back, is say cut it off about there, and then weld a fitting on the end of it, and then I'll just wrap some tape around it to hold them nice and steady, and we should be Jake. <laughs> right now, I'll use an angle grinder to cut this, guys, because if I do it with my pliers, it'll just pinch it, and then I won't be able to get any hair through it. There we go guys, I just took the paint off it as well so I can weld that actual fitting on there. As you can see guys, that's quite a thin little tube, so it doesn't take much to bust it, eh? <laughs> well, right, guys, I've got the little clip-on fitting here, so we'll stick them on here. And we'll just try and tap weld it on there. I'm going quite a way down too, I'm not quite going to the end here, see it coming through the end. But I'll go quite a way down. Hopefully I can tack weld it here just to hold it and then move the clamp to here and so I can actually get all the way around it. Anyway guys, she's pretty thin so we'll have a go. <laughs>
just getting it started, guys, it's going to be an issue. I don't know if we've got anything holding on there or not. We'll have a look. Let's have a look. Without getting burnt. Well, yep, she's holding on there, so we'll rearrange it and uh, we'll have a go at the welding it properly. Right here, guys. I'll try and weld it up as best I can. Not too much heat at once. What does that look like guys? Lion man will be pleased to see it. So here we have it guys, like I say the end's pretty ugly, see it there, but we'll see if it works before we get too carried away. Um, what I'm going to do is just stick it under here like so, follow it down the old torch like that. What I might do is just bend the end of it here so that we get the same shape as the electrode. Just put a slight kink on it guys, so it follows the shape of the electrode. Beautiful, and like I say, we can move the electrode up and down. So what we need to do now, I'm using a very thin pipe so I can bend it to the same shape, guys, because um, I'm sure we can make it a lot tidier than this, but I just want to see if it works first. So that'll hold him there. Couple of zip ties, Pete. I love these zip ties, they're good. You can do anything with them, eh? They're awesome. And they're easy to get off when you cock it up. Not that I cock up anything, guys, you know how it is. <laughs> Jesus, you took some shit, mate. Anyway, and put it over there, put it under the on off switch. Beautiful. Put one there. Like I say, I'm just too miserable to spend 150 bucks on a torch, you know. I might spend it if, um, if, it, if I like doing it, and I do it a lot, but at the moment, like I say, we're just plain. And then what I'll do is I'll just sniff them off here. And what do we got? <laughs> Look at that. Looks interesting, doesn't it? Now we can still bend them around and flop them around and then if we plug the air in here, it should go. Yeah. Actually what I might do is put a bit of tape here on the hose as well so it's quite solid. But I'll put it quite close to the torch so we've still got a little bit of flex when I want to plug the hose into. But I'll do it right up here close to the torch so when I plug my ear hose in here and the adapter, we don't try and snap it off. Beautiful, good. Yeah, nice. See this guys here, it did start to get the weld out of the way a bit, but um, maybe I'm not using quite enough amperage, I'm only running about 150 amp, and this rod is about an 8mm rod, which is probably too big for what I'm doing. Anyway guys, you get the general idea, you can get rid of the welds, and um, yeah, so, my thoughts are, excellent. Like I say, she's just a DIY sort of version, but, um, got to start somewhere, eh? Yeah! 
So guys, that was sort of a half hour success, but I had fun doing it. It's all for good fun, eh? You know, it's got to be a lot better than holding the old air gun next to it. Um, but like I say, I haven't got 19 bloody hands. Anyway, guys, if you've got any better suggestions than that, put them in the comments below. If not, always remember to subscribe if you like what you're seeing. Even if you don't like what you're seeing, just make sure you subscribe so you make sure you don't miss out on anything else you don't like. Anyway, guys, see you later. Bye. Peachtools.com.com.com. Peach